Hello YouTubers. Thought I'd shoot a quick video. I just uh, ordered some uh, black worms for the fish, of course, from California Black Worms. And I got them with a container, and I thought I'd do a quick unboxing just to let you see what I got here. Okay, so we got uh, like the invoice. Uh, it's stapled in there. Yeah, it just looks like the invoice. Um, they got a block here. Not sure what that is yet. We'll look at that in a minute. Oh. So, I'll go ahead and pull this out. Get rid of the box here. Kind of hard to do, so okay. Let's see what we got here. Another big bag. Okay. So there are the black worms. Um, I got the uh, one third pound mark. Uh, they appear to still be moving around, so they look like they're okay. Um, got a cold pack down below, so I'm going to keep them down there with it. Keep them nice and cold. Um, According to the directions to keep these guys, um, they like to be kept in the refrigerator for 40 to 50 degrees. Now this should be the keeper. And there it is. And boy do I like that. Um, what it is is a tray inside of a tray. Um, I don't know if you can tell from the camera here, but that's got like a very fine netting on the bottom of it. You keep the worms in this container, and then the bottom container you fill with a, about a three-eighths of an inch of water according to the instructions. Uh, it's my first time out doing this, so keep the worms in here. You can rinse them daily with some fresh, unchlorinated water, and then uh, you set that down in there with some clean, fresh, unchlorinated water, about three-eighths of an inch. And you keep this guy in your refrigerator, or in a cool area, 40 to 50 degrees. I guess refrigerator would be the best for that. Um, probably going to be ending up going out and buying one of those little wine coolers or something like that, because I think they're a little more adept. I don't know, i have to see what the pricing is on it. See if the little refrigerators for dorm rooms or the wine coolers are cheaper. But uh, at any rate, you want to keep them around 40 to 50 degrees. Rinse them daily with dechlorinated water and keep them in about three-eighths of an inch of uh, dechlorinated water. And they're supposed to be very high in protein. Uh, uh, since they're raised um, from in, in a uh, sterile environment, you don't have to worry about any uh, diseases or uh, parasites or anything like that coming along with them. And uh, I don't know. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Um, so... Uh, Maybe I'll uh, tack on a, a shot of me uh, feeding the fish of these uh, at the end of this video. But um, that's going to be it for right now. Okay, YouTubers, I uh, thought we'd go through a little quick feeding thing here now. Um, as you can see, the tray is here with the black worms in it. <laughs> see all the black worms down there now and so let's move this guy over here and so we'll get some black worms here Take them over 
here. And as you can see, the fish do truly love these things. There's no uh, getting, no hard time getting them to eat this. So, uh, if you're interested, check it out. Uh, just Google uh, California blackworms. Um, I would uh, suggest getting the keeper. You don't have to. There's uh, quite a few videos on YouTube about keeping them in just you know plastic containers and stuff, or uh, small fish tanks or whatever. Uh, if you choose so, you can do it that way. Um, I happen to think this keeper is pretty neat. Um, the fact that you can just uh, lift this up out of the water, clean them up real simply, put fresh water in and then set them back in and stick them in the fridge and they're good to go. Okay, well that's all for now. Thanks for watching.